What's going on, everyone? My name is Imad. I am a D H, not Iman, not Imar, not I Mad. Imad. It's nice to meet you, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm here to tell you a little story of mine, my life story, how I got here, and maybe you could take a little something for yourself, avoid some of the mistakes I made, and just live life as passionately and authentically as you can. I am 32 years old right now, turning 33 and I'm a hip hop artist. And as you could tell, those two factors already don't really coincide with one another. It's, it tends to be a, a young man's game. It tends to be about being like, you know, 20, 20 years old or whatever the hell. And I wanna let you know about how I got to this position. Um, this is a story about redemption. This is a story about connecting with my younger self and living life more authentically than I than I chose to before. So back in high school, I used to make music. I used to um, rap with my friends. I'll go to my crib. My parents would would let us record upstairs. We'd be writing raps and um, collabing on all all sorts of beats. We'd basically find beats on like SoundClick. I don't know. It's probably too old. I was born in '91, so that's probably too far back of a reference for most of y'all. Even industry beats like by Fifty or I don't know, Mike Jones or anybody that was like fire at the time. We spent a lot of a lot of great time making music and it's what we really, really loved. But come, you know, come time, the end of high school, I had no idea how to make something real and sustainable out of it. It just kind of felt like a, just like a dream. Before this era of where now being independent is so much more possible and doable, just that thing of, oh yeah, you wanna you wanna do music as a career? Oh, that's that's a pipe dream, that's this, that's that. And I bought into that shit. I believe that. Despite the passion that I had, I somehow convinced myself that those people were right. I can't do this. This is not this is not a feasible career. Now I gotta go to university, college, whatever, and go make a real career. And I would soon after learn how much bullshit that is. So I went to university. And I hated it. There were some cool classes, but overall, I hated that shit. I would apply myself sometimes, other times I was just like, is this all there is? Like, is this what life is supposed to be? I got the office jobs and I couldn't stand them. More than not standing them, I couldn't stand to think that this is what my life was gonna be. I couldn't stand the thought of relegating myself, minimizing myself to that. And it's not to disrespect anyone that's doing it and does it. Because by all means, make your living, do what you need to do. I just knew for me, it something didn't, wasn't sitting right. It was, was not how I was meant to live my life. And that's something you figure out in your 20s, where you, you go from fitting in to standing out. You go from what's considered acceptable, what's considered okay, and then you go, nah, fuck that. What do I want to do? How do I want to live my life? So when pandemic came, I was looking around and I saw everybody kind of getting back to themselves. I saw everybody living a little more true to who they are and what they want to do. And so I said, hold up, why did I ever stop doing music? Why did I ever stop? That's the thing I should have been doing this whole time, building the thing that was true to me. Disregard the people, disregard the naysayers, disregard the negative people. They say you can't do it. And what did Jay say back to them? No, you can't do it. So during pandemic, I had that, that revelation, that moment, that epiphany, it hit me. I said, you know what? I'm not getting any younger. And this life is not getting any longer. So why would I spend any more time not doing the thing that I should be doing. I had some savings, living with my, my folks, luckily, because rent these days is insane. And I said, fuck it, I'm gonna do my thing. And I've, I've been at it since, it's been three years. It's not easy, it's very tough. This is by far the toughest pursuit I've ever undertaken. The challenges, the, the days when you have no idea which way to go. There's no set path. It's not like, yeah, do A, B, A, B, and C, and you're gonna get to where you need to go. No, you're carving your path as you go. There's no guarantees. 
So what am I saying all this to say? This is just a message to live your life, live it true, live it authentic. I'm no motivational speaker. I tend to be motivational sometimes, but I'm not necessarily trying to be all preachy and all that. But I got lessons. I got lessons that I've learned the hard way. And, you know, losing time and spending time not doing the things you want to do is one of the hardest lessons in life, in life. So I'll tell you like I would tell my younger self, do what you need to do. Don't listen to people. You don't need to listen to them. You don't even need to listen to me. It's up to you. But that thing that you really want to do that's underneath fear, that's underneath, you know, oh, they're going to think this. Oh, no. But what if other... You know, you know, don't kid yourself. You and I know that that's the thing. That's really the thing. Like it was for me. It was the thing. And sooner or later, you're going to get to it and you're going to hate that you didn't get to it sooner. This is therapy for me. You know, this is something I wanted to get off my chest. This is a story that I wanted to tell. Once again, my name is Imad. I'm an independent musician, songwriter, rapper, singer. I'm here. And this is the first of many videos. And I look forward to, to sitting down with you and talking again soon. You stay safe.